Hello everybody, welcome back to another reading. Today we're taking a look at the case of Shanice Harris, who was aged 31 uh, by the time she disappeared on May 29th of 2017. Shanice was from Rock Hill, New York, which is a fairly small town, which is why a lot of people are amazed that there isn't more information out there about her disappearance, because there were only a few people there, and pretty much everybody knows everybody. So anyway, so she was going to go to a party with some friends. And she did arrive there, and I believe she left around 8.40 from what I could read. And her friend stated that she left with somebody who was unknown to them. Around midnight, her phone made a FaceTime call to her girlfriend. And I don't think that was answered. I'm not really sure. It didn't really say that in so many words. In any case, I didn't see whether the FaceTime call actually was from Shanice, or if somebody just accidentally dialed a FaceTime call to somebody and it just so happened to be your girlfriend. All these things are possible. But that was the last form of contact from Shanice to anybody, which was already very unusual because she was always in contact with her family and friends and she was very social in that sense. And she also loved to check up on her mother who had just flown to Florida to meet some family there, I believe, and who had uh, trouble flying. So she would have definitely called her mother to check up on her to see how she was doing. None of that happened though. So the next day, her older sister Tamika wanted to report her missing at the police station. And they told her that she had to wait 24 hours in order to do that, which is something that we hear a lot in these missing cases. So if you ever have anybody go missing and they tell you to wait 24 hours, just tell them that you know that that is not actually a law and that you really, really want to file a report because when Tamika came back to report later, the police actually asked her why she didn't report her missing sooner, which is such a facepalm moment, but okay. Uh, so she did actually get reported missing. The day after, on May 31st, her car was found at Southwood Drive, which is in Thompson, which is about five miles from where she had lived. The car was locked and I couldn't find any more information about whether there was anything missing, if the keys were there, any of her things were there, nothing. And that is as much as we know about Shanice and her disappearance. Nobody's came forward about this stranger. Nobody said anything about seeing her driving anywhere. She had a gray Jetta, I believe, and uh, it was parked there at some point. Nobody's reported seeing it before a certain time and nothing, just that it was found there on the 31st and nobody's talking. So that makes it very frustrating. Since we don't know a whole lot about this case, people asked if I could do a reading on her and we are starting off with the Terra Mucha deck, which is uh, this one currently on the table. For any further questions, moving on to the Santo Verde deck, which is uh, this one. Um, if you have any cases that you would like me to take a look at and they are in the public domain, make sure to check out the description because there is a link in there to a Google form, which is completely anonymous. You can put the name of the person or the case in there and preferably also add a line or two of extra info about the case. So I know what we're looking for. Anyway, as per usual, I'm just going to start shuffling the deck. And as soon as I have enough cards on the table, we'll stop and take a look without much further ado. Let's get started. Okay, so if you watched last week's video, I explained that one of the cards that I pulled had actually kind of popped out of the deck before I even started the reading and then it showed up again in the reading. Well, we've had that exact same thing happen and it was this one and it was also the first card to pop out as I was shuffling. So I thought that was very interesting and telling. This is Judgments. 
So that's already not a good sign because it's in reverse. So it could be either she was judged by somebody or she was having a case of misjudgment of a person. Seems likely she was very social as far as I have uh, heard. She would definitely help people quite a lot if they needed help. So she may have been very trusting in that sense. We see here a four of cups, which is normally being spoiled for choice, uh, being unable to choose perhaps. But then we have the four of pentacles over here, which is normally like trying to uh, balance your finances, balance your situation, just trying to strike a balance in any way, shape or form with your time, resources, money, whichever you have. So we are looking at uh, bad judgment calls being made and also kind of because they're indecisive but at the same time they're kind of watching their finances almost like uh maybe i should trust this person because i'm not really sure what i want anyway and also i don't really want to spend a lot of money so maybe somebody offered them something for cheap this may be the person that she left with that nobody knew may have offered her something for a good price and she was like yeah you know i don't know maybe i'll come take a look yeah, maybe like they offered her something and she was trying to balance her finances or thinking, oh, this might be a good deal, but I'm not sure yet because we have the four of cups and we're not really sure what we want yet. So she may have said, I'll come with you and I'll take a look. And if I don't want it, I won't buy it. But it was also not a great decision overall financially because the imbalance over there with the reversed four of pentacles then we have this looks like the queen of pentacles the ten of cups and the seven of wands okay so we do actually see a good time over here being had with the ten of cups that is definitely a lot of harmony and i think this queen of pentacles being very practical and maybe they did go somewhere and just have a good time with somebody but then they felt kind of challenged because the seven of wands is like a challenge position somebody coming for your position uh feeling like somebody's challenging you it may not even really be the case but since we are seeing uh, the page of swords on the next row i feel like this uh sudden feeling of being challenged or actually being challenged by somebody led to some choice words being spoken over here because the page of swords is somebody who's very uh adolescent and can occasionally sting with their words without perhaps meaning to or perhaps things come across a lot harsher than they should have in any case uh they definitely told them what was on their mind or somebody did somebody got angry or at least started to speak um rather impulsively and then we see the eight of cups which is trying to walk away but failing to do so followed by a three of pentacles so now i'm thinking that this person that she was hanging out with had friends and even though after this confrontation she tried to walk away which is represented by the eight of cups she was unable to do so because it's in reverse and then there were other people there to uh, work together and I don't think they were working for her. It may also be her trying to compromise in the situation like oh maybe since she couldn't walk away maybe we can work something out could be that but I feel like it may be somebody who uh, had accomplices on the spot or at least was able to drum up some supports next we see the two of swords in reverse being of two minds but in reverse i always see that as a single mindedness like there was no other decision to be made then we see the king of wands which is somebody who is very actionable and we have the six of swords so i think that even though she may have tried to make a compromise over here uh, with the um three of pentacles trying to work together i think that that did not go over well because of the two of swords being in reverse and this other person who i think is being represented by the king of wands uh decided to take matters in their own hand because we see here the six of swords and i'm actually drawn to notice that the person who is in control of the boat is also the one holding wands or at least a wand and so is this person so i feel like this person then decided that she was going to go uh, with them and they were going to decide what happened next which may also explain why her car was abandoned like i feel at that point they were like okay no you need to come with us and uh, maybe they called somebody over who uh had their own car and then they went ahead and traveled with that instead like their own path rather than her idea 
So at this point, I think we are uh, seeing that the car is abandoned. Now, we don't know if the car was already there on the 30th, but I imagine that people would have seen it. So maybe this is a day later that they're actually taking her. Maybe they're actually using her car to drive her to a place of their choosing and then later deciding to put the car somewhere. I don't know. That's something we can't really find here. But let's see what happens next. Kind of jump, but didn't want to go. What do we have next? Oopsie. Okay, two over there and over here. Let's take a look at these first. Oh, three of them. We have the Wheel of Fortune, so things are definitely changing. We have the Tower in reverse, and we have the Six of Cups. Is it the Six? Because I only really count five. Where's the cup number six? Oh no, it is six cups, okay. One right on her arm at the end there. Okay, so Wheel of Fortune, things are changing, like I said. And could be anybody's game, but I do feel like since we do have the tower here in reverse, that uh, things got really confusing, and this is one of those tower moments. Uh, usually tower means change, and I don't think they saw it coming, and I think maybe the Six of Cups has a clue as to why she may not have seen it coming, because the Six of Cups is normally somebody, or at least some type of um, connection, a previous connection, a previous emotional connection, could be somebody from the past, like this is a bit of a melancholy card, wishing for the old days. But I think, like, because they may have met in the past, they were not expecting this change. Like, they may have encountered somebody. Maybe one of the people who was an accomplice was somebody that she actually knew. And therefore, they did not expect this uh, sudden change in attitude from this person. Because the cups are emotions, so they are not expecting this emotion. And then we have this one, and this is the moon in reverse, so secrets are revealed in this case. Also interesting to note that if you look at this person over here, they appear to be made of flesh and blood on the one side, but when you look in the water, the truth is revealed that they're actually a skeleton. So I think this is definitely a backstabbing type of deal. Like I said, that you may have known this person from the past and found it very shocking to see the change in their personality or at least change in how they would normally treat them. And in this case, she basically got secrets revealed about this person that they perhaps didn't want to be revealed, but... Uh, the mask dropped off in any case, so this is somebody whom she was not expecting to behave in that way, who did. Now, what else can we find out? Because right now she's just having a confrontation with this person who was behaving in a manner that she did not expect from them. Oh, there we go. Four of Wands. In reverse, so that is a lack of harmony, or at least previous harmony uh, were being removed. And we have the Five of Wands as well, so we have two Wands cards, so this is a lot of actions being taken. Five of Wands is normally like a sparring card, fighting with people. Uh, as you can see, a uh, lit match over there is kind of like the spark that starts the uh, confrontation, so to speak. And in this case, it was a really bad fight. Now, Four of Wands is normally like a harmony card, and since it's in reverse, I think... Um, that harmony was lost, but I was also thinking that this may have been harmony that used to exist. Because we're still looking at this person whom she uh, probably knew, at least according to this Six of Cups over here. She was really surprised by that, and then this Four of Wands in reverse is almost like turning over the table in the middle of a game. Like, oh, I thought we knew each other, I thought we were on the same page, and then suddenly we're not anymore. And then we have a confrontation here with the Five of Wands which sparked very suddenly as uh, denoted by that lit match right there. What next? So we're currently in a struggle with somebody very unexpectedly. Okay, there's a lot of cards here. I don't think all of them are necessary, but strength is coming out. So she may have proved to be stronger than they were expecting. I've also got the magician here. So she may have proved to be stronger than they were expecting and um, also more resourceful because the magician is here. So I think they really surprised them. 
by which I mean Shani surprised the people who were coming for them, which I think may have led to more trouble. Like so far it reads like it could have been just a flash in the pan. That's what the, the match that I keep looking at on the five of wands seems to be saying like only one person was super hot headed, maybe even like there's five people fighting. One person is uh, blazing, furious, I guess. And then we have strength here and a magician showing that somebody was very strong in this fight. And I think it was Shanice and she was also very good at it. Now I have seen the images of her. She definitely looked like she could take on a few people. We have here the Five of Swords, which is uh, fighting uh, verbally. We have the Four of Pentacles again, and then we have the Page of Pentacles. All right, so after this fight, we have some verbal altercations as well as physical altercations. And I think that the uh, result was that they forced her to go and get some money which you may not have had. I don't know, maybe gift them some money because I'm looking at the gift shop over there. Also, this card, normally like the Four of Pentacles is like balancing your finances, but this card is so heavy on the side of give me all your stuff because they're lowering this person to the bank that I think they were pretty much forcing her to cough up some money maybe as a result, like, oh, uh, now you owe us because look at what you've done. And then we have here the Page of Pentacles, which is somebody who makes a uh, fairly rash financial decision so she may have decided to actually go ahead and do so she may have also just tried to promise them other things or may have promised them things that um, she normally wouldn't have had if she had a minute to think about like things that weren't something that she would normally want to give away like maybe she promised them uh, the title to the car or something along those lines in a way to try and patch things up with this person, just offering them things that would not normally be very prudent to offer in such a situation, but she may have been in a bit of a panic mode and the Five of Swords is reversed, so maybe there's also some lies being told here as well that made her convinced that she needed to pay up. Let's see, Six of Swords again being moved to another location under duress because it looks as though all the swords are uh, literally inside this one's skull. And then we have the King of Swords in reverse. So we're definitely seeing somebody who's very, very good with words. It could be uh, another form of the King of Wands that we saw earlier uh, underneath here somewhere. Um, basically telling her that she needs to do this and that for them and it's definitely related to these finances because the Six of Swords is definitely moving them in another location or to another location under duress. And at the top, we see a whole bunch of yellow roses. But when I first glanced at them, I actually thought that it was a whole load of pentacles over there. So maybe this was more like, oh, we're moving to you to a, an ATM or something. We're going to go to this place now. We're going to go to that bank. Although I don't recall reading anything about withdrawals being made. From her account so they may have wanted to do that but didn't actually get to that place ultimately whoops a whole bunch of them fell over there in any case we have the knight of wands we have the fool and we have the high priestess okay so initially, we are definitely leading people on, I think, with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Knight of Wands is also very actionable, also a little bit rash, tends to charge ahead, as you can see. He's, uh, his horse is rearing and they're just going to go forward until I say stop. And we have the Fool right behind that. So I think people are kind of following this glowing example over here, which I think is Janice in this case. Uh, trying to fool them into going someplace else, perhaps, or making um, statements that she knows are not true, but uh, hopefully they will follow her and she can maybe get her way out of that situation. That's kind of what this looks like. She has an idea, she's got a plan, and she's telling them to go places, and they're like, okay, sure, we'll do that. We'll go there and we'll take a look. But then somebody at least uh, caught on because we have here the High Priestess, and the High Priestess will see through deception. So I think her plan did not work out. Okay, we've got a lot of Santa Muerte. Let's go back to Terramucha for a while. 
So she got found out. And then what? Oh, this one flipped. Okay, after she got found out, we have another verbal argument going on. So they are definitely arguing with her uh, over this apparent betrayal, I feel. Um, so there was an argument after whoever this high priestess was figured it out. We have the hermit here. So this is unable to hide. That's the first thing that came to mind when I saw this card flip over. Normally the hermit is going to take some time to figure things out for themselves, seclude themselves from civilization to have a moment to think. But in this case, there is no time to think. The time is now and we need to do something now because there are these people here who are arguing with her and who feel very much betrayed. Oops. Okay. The sun in reverse. So she's definitely losing all favor in this particular uh, instance. And we have the lovers in reverse. So, so trust is definitely broken at this point. So this is the last time that they're probably going to listen to any of her suggestions because she has now betrayed them apparently, at least according to their uh, way of looking at things. So they are now upset and no longer cooperating. Let's see what else we can find real quick because I think we're about to come to a conclusion. Okay. The tower. Okay, here we go. And then we have the world and we have the knight of pentacles. Okay, so. The tower, I think, represents the action that was taken to make Shanisko missing permanently. I do feel like we're not going to see her alive again. Still, it was a surprise, because the tower is always a surprise moment. And since the world is upright, I tend to see that as people are aware of these things. There are people who know. There's people who know stuff. And we are definitely looking at somebody who is very practical. Not entirely mature because the Knight of Pentacles, even though he is very practical and slow and steady wins the race, it is somebody who is not quite on the Queen and King level, so to speak, with their maturity and development. So I think that they are being very um, careful. I'm pretty sure they had some type of plan already worked out because that is sort of the thing that the Knight of Pentacles tends to represent as well. Somebody who is very methodical and there are other people who know because of the world being upright. So I feel like this also, because he's kind of riding into the woods here, which is interesting because her car was found in a wooded area. So I feel like this is somebody who is very familiar with the woods as well. Sorry for the lighting changing. The, the sun is uh, disappearing behind clouds every couple minutes. Uh, so I feel like they know that area very well and they know exactly where they can stash somebody if they don't want them to be found, I think. Now let's see if we can actually whoops, say anything about her being found. All right, we got some... Ten of Swords action going on in reverse though, so I feel like they are worried about it constantly. I feel like they're also not able to sleep very well because we have not only the Ten of Swords in reverse, we also have the Nine of Cups in reverse, which is somebody who's really not feeling good about themselves. What do we have here at the end? The Seven of Pentacles. So that's really ruined their life in a way. Also financially, but also with their plans. I feel like this is somebody who is probably not going to talk because they are still represented with an upright knight of pentacles who is very practical, like I said. So they probably don't want to uh, snitch on themselves. We do see here that they're very much worried. And I think that this is something that has changed their future prospects. Uh, very much so because the seven of pentacles normally like watching things that you've invested time in maturing and then just being able to uh, prepare to pluck that fruits of your labor but it's in reverse so I feel like they had things planned for their future and now they feel like they can't do that anymore because of this whole event that took place so I think that is all the cards I'm gonna be able to get for Shanice it looks like a meeting gone wrong which i think even the people who she was meeting didn't expect to happen 
but it did and uh, it was probably a terror event for all of them after which they had to make something happen to uh, keep themselves out of trouble even though there are people who know because the world is upright so somebody should eventually start talking maybe we can actually get a couple more cards about that are we going to get somebody to talk at some point because so far all we've seen is that they're not feeling good about it but what about the future are we going to see anything come to light this is the ten of pentacles in reverse so we might be looking at somebody who is interested in the financial gain normally the ten of pentacles is like an inheritance type of card um and i think in reverse this means that somebody does not have a lot of finances and they might be interested in that reward that the fbi has offered we've got three more cards here we've got the queen of pentacles in reverse somebody who's not very good with money we've got the emperor in reverse so somebody's also not really taking good care of them and we have the seven of pentacles in reverse again we have that twice so i think if anybody's going to come forward it's going to be somebody who is in financial dire straits and they're not very good with money as it is also they do not have a lot of support it could be that they're under the influence of somebody who is supposed to be like a father figure but is not very good at it uh, it could be an abusive relationship we might be looking at somebody who's about to break up a relationship and therefore has uh just like this person uh how to look at their future and go you know all the stuff that i was working on it's not going to happen so they may not be able to count on things that they have planned for themselves anymore and i think that that might lead them to uh, finding that financial reward very tempting and this might be somebody who can give a clue that'll help the police finally solve this case so that is what I'm seeing for Shanice Harris. I hope you found that interesting. In any case, make sure to leave a like and a comment. That really helps the channel along. And I hope to see you in another video. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.